Mama? Yes, darling. It's your favorite Sonny. Yes, my favorite Sonny. I'm calling you back because I have a few things I want to say to you. Okay, let's have it. Now, are you going to listen up for a change? Sure. All right, here it goes. Yeah. I've never said this to you before, but it's come time. Now, I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you doing you know what with dad. Whatever it is you did that created, that created us, I want to thank you for giving me life and bringing me into the world. Now, after that point, when I was born and I was delivered, yes. and I was delivered into this, this amazing place called Earth, there was a few things that you did. <gasps> One of them was smacking me across the head all the time and yanking all my hair. and spanking my tushy, which I didn't always appreciate, Mom. Are you taping this? What would give you that impression? You're taping it, Eden. What would give you that impression? I know you. Yeah? Yeah, I know you, like a book. How do you know me? I know everything about you better than you know yourself. I know everything you do and why you do it. Okay. Mrs. I know it all, smarty pants, I know it all, I know Mr. Eden Schmieden so well. Why did I call you back then? To tape this thing. No, I, I, I'm taping it, but that's not the real, uh, that's not the impetus, that's not my motive. What's my real motive, do you think? No, but I, that's besides the point. Of course I'm taping it, but why? What's, the, what's, what's my motivation? Your motivation? I don't know. Mom, my motivation was to convey sincere gratitude and tell you that I love you and I thank you for giving me life. Oh, that's your motivation? Okay, I accept that. Okay, so let's talk about it. So you were, ner so you were nervous. Yeah. You were nervous. Do you, now, do you remember your water breaking? No, it didn't, because I had a C-section. All right. Okay. I'm not. A, I'm not very knowledgeable on these things. So, so, but so when would like when did you decide to go in, and why? Um, because the date was set and the time was set, so I went in. And no, 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 that's not the way it happened. Because I went in a month early because I couldn't stand it already. I wanted to die, actually, because I couldn't sit, I couldn't walk, I couldn't stand, I couldn't nothing. Because you had two for the price of one, but you didn't know you had two for the price of one because they didn't have ultrasounds with such detail back then, right? Oh, that's right. I didn't know I was having twins at all. But did you feel that you were carrying around some extra weight, some extra baggage, or you just didn't know? I just didn't know. I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Uh-huh. And then I was so stupid and naive that the, the doctor brought in two incubators, but I didn't, I didn't even make any sense out of that. Uh -huh. Well, they probably had you on a lot of drugs, too. <laughs> yeah, but I just didn't think it was twins. But the doctor knew. He said he didn't want to um, tell me because I seemed to be quite um, with, in, in a lot of problems with this pregnancy anyways. So he didn't want to tell me. So when is the, the moment when you find out that you got two for the price of one? What was the moment? Like, I mean... Actually, I started to cry hysterically. 
<laughs> right. That's not happening. How am I going to manage? How am I going to manage? That's what you're thinking when you get two miracles for the price of one, and you're thinking, how are you going to, you know, are you, how are you going to afford to buy two cribs? No, that money didn't come into it. How was I going to manage, period? You get a helper. <laughs> you get a helper. <laughs> Not quite that easy. You got two brand new beautiful baby boys to give you nothing but but nachas, nothing but joy and pride, and you You're are right upset. There. I was just upset because I was in a state of shock. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. We were a little bit in shock ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I know. You must have been. We weren't expecting to take the trap door. We were expecting to go through the, the New Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, God. Well, where do you find these kids? <laughs> well, thank you, Ma. I just, I'm just going to end this, and I just wanted to call you back and to tell you that I, you know, that I do love you very much, and I do appreciate you giving me the gift of life. You're very welcome, Eden, and I don't know what I'd do without you and Harlan. Well, you gave us the gift of You're life. You're my pride and joy. You're my pride and joy. Well, you gave us the gift of life, and, you know, we have some honorable mention to Dad, too, because, you know, it's not something that happens. We'll, we'll just leave that part out. What? We'll just leave that part out. <laughs> Stop it. It wasn't exactly immaculate conception, you turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause this, this woman's a turkey. <laughs> oh God. We'll just leave that part out. What? I said we'll just leave that part out for now. You're something else, Frenchie. You're something else.